Hi guys, I'm Magda and I help service members prepare for the SLP, STANAC and JFLT exams. I thought that today I'm going to record a little bit different video and the reason why I'm recording it is because I analyzed what's the most popular video on my channel and that's last minute tips before the exam. And I think it's pretty natural that that's the most popular video because, well, let's be honest, all of us, most of us are procrastinators and we put off the exam preparation until the last moment. And then we just wake up one day and realize that the exam uh, is in a few weeks or a few days. And then we are looking for some help and information on that. Uh, that's why I created this other video. But today, I would like to talk to you about first minute tips. Okay, so we are going to start from another angle. What to do if you know that you have a lot of time in advance and you can take your preparation easy. You don't have to stress out about the exam date approaching. You have this perspective that the exam will take place in a year or maybe six months and you want to start the preparation process. I've got a few tips for you on what to focus on, how to start and I collected them into five tips. Uh, no, sorry, actually there are six tips. All right, before we get to that, I would like you to be aware of something. Instead of setting goals, I would like you to set up systems. So decide how your learning process, your whole learning journey is going to look like. Okay, so don't focus on writing a goal. I want to pass the exam by this date. Break it down into details. How you're going to do it, how often you're going to study English, how many times per week, in what format, what exactly you're going to do. The more specific you are, the more accountable you'll be able to hold yourself. Apart from setting systems, I would like you to create habits in English. So some things that you do, it doesn't have to be a study routine. It could be things that you do purely for fun, that you enjoy doing in English, because it doesn't have to be all suffering and hassle. It can be actually an enjoyable process. And actually, the more you enjoy the whole journey, the better, the more motivated you will feel to continue. So the consistency is the key in that case. Number two, hold yourself accountable by being a part of a study group, a speaking club or whatever social group of people who share the same goal. We learn the language in order to use it while communicating with other people. That's why learning in a small group makes a lot of sense because you're actually learning how to interact with others. It's not just one-to-one -one communication with the teacher. You need to hear different accents. You need to hear mistakes that people make because it's all a part of a learning process. So finding like-minded people uh, whether it's a study group or just an informal event that you guys organize, but it needs to be something consistent, something that takes place regularly. It cannot be just an informal hangout that takes place twice a year. No, it needs to be regular. Remember, consistency. Number three get to know the exam inside out. You need to know all of the exam specifics, all of the formats, timing. Start doing the mock exams early enough in order to get familiar with all those little details. You really need to become an expert on the exam. Number four, use the vocabulary planner. Vocabulary Planner is a tool that I actually use with my students. Every month I ask them to make a list of words that they already know 
Okay, that's the key. These are not new words. These are the words that they have seen uh, in the series, they listened to in a podcast or read in an article, and do you recognize them? However, for some reason, they don't use them in conversations, in their speaking or in their writing. They are just not coming to them in the right moment. The whole point of the vocabulary planner is to activate your passive vocabulary and move it from passive to active. Every month we create a list of words, around 10-15 words each month, that we really want to move from passive to active. And we make sure that we use those words. We have this list in front of us during our classes. We have it like on a vision board or in some place in our room where we can see it. And we try hard to use those words this month. Then like we'll, you will see how naturally it will become like one month after another, like to use the words from the previous month. But at the beginning, it's going to be a little bit of effort. Okay, you will need to try to think consciously, like in what situation could I use this word? Give it a try. It really works. And finally, my last tip, make English a priority. I know that English might not be a number one priority in your life. We all have priorities such as our family life, work, but the thing is that you need to put it really high on your priority list. Maybe not number one, maybe not before your kids or a partner, but it needs to be really high on the priority list. You need to prioritize English over some entertainment, some social events sometimes, and you need to choose English rather than fun. Even if you might feel tempted that, okay, like, uh, I, I want to go out tonight, but you have already scheduled that it's going to be your English time, choose English, it will pay off, okay? So you have to make some sacrifices for a while, but it's all worth it, I promise. Make English a priority, at least for this period of your life. Life is seasonal, so sometimes some things are priorities in our life and others are not. In this season of your life, make English a priority. All right, so these are the first minute tips that I have for you. If you have some other tips that you would like to add to this list, something that you think we can start doing in advance, a few months, ahead, feel free to comment and share those tips with others. I would love you to add your thoughts on that. And if you want more from me, you can find me on my website, my social media, and let's keep in touch. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Wish you a lovely day. Bye.